Dear learner, in this session and in this lecture, we are going to complete our the most important task that is earthquake analyze uh, earthquake assigning. So we will define earthquake load as per code properly with proper understanding. So to define our earthquake load on our structure, we have to click here define. Then we will go load pattern and here we have defined eis x and eis y for uh seismic uh earthquake i'll just click here and if you need to change any code pattern or any suppose if you need to assign that code then simply click and modify load see it has been changed but i will go for that code at this time but for your case you can change any of them I'll go here and modify lateral load. Now, close this one. And here we have three options for X direction first time as we're going for X. So, this is for direct X direction. Suppose if I take a pen here, this is for direct X direction. And here, eccentric ratio. If we if we only select that option then it the earthquake load will apply drag uh, on the center of mass okay i mean diaphragm center of mass of our building and here we have provided a value our default value is given 0 0.05 that means five percent of eccentricity so if you select that one that means five percent plus eccentricity okay and this is uh X direction minus 5% eccentricity. What is the meaning of that? Suppose this is our center. And if we use 5% eccentricity, that means earthquake will also apply after 5% eccentricity in above and also 5% eccentricity in below. Same for our Y direction. This is for X direction. And this is x direction plus plus five percent eccentricity and this minus five percent eccentricity okay this is nothing but it so i will select uh, that both option first now one by one we have to change all of that value so uh, before providing that value you have to know every details i mean uh, details about that section so uh, i'm going to discuss in details first of all this is the value of 2 second uh, 0.2 second spectral acceleration peak ground spectral acceleration i mean i mean so here and uh, s1 s1 means 1 second spectral acceleration okay so what is the um, name indicate of ss s means spectral acceleration in short period and spectral acceleration in one second is it okay and short period means 0 0.2 second now here spectral acceleration you have to find out that value of spectral acceleration actually this va this value is nothing but a 2.5 times of that value so uh, here the value will provide it will be same as 2.5 tons of that value now from where you will get that value actually okay for our seismic coefficient value from where you will get to get seismic coefficient already i have created all reference for it so i think it will be effective for you mapped acceleration parameter this is for our ss and s on where you will get that value in figure uh, in asc 70716 chapter 22 and figure 2213 here and uh, for ss the figure number apple here given the figure number this given figure number is for ss and uh, figure number here given for a song okay 
and uh, here on thing is given where the s1 is less than 0 0.04 and ss is less than 0 0.15 then seismic design category a can be applied and this is the most uh, low effective parameters and where i'll get that in chapter 22 so if i just come here and if we go chapter 2 i'll provide that pdf to you so chapter 22 and here you'll get all math so the map here given it's for the map here given map sorry here it's uh, giving 0 0.2 second spectral acceleration 5% critical damping okay so this is the value of ss and here this is the value of percent g that means uh, 30 means 30 percent that means you have to if your building are going to be constructed in that region then you have to take 30 0 0.3 that means 30 percent and uh, if you're going to place placing your uh, building here you have to be considered 7 0 0.7 percent okay so this is uh 0 0.7 actually of g this is for ss and uh, if you go here this is for one second value and if you check you will see uh, this one second value i mean s s value is 2.5 times of one second value okay so uh, from here you will be able to find out your value and also if you go for uh another value like okay, just coming back later so here actually i will come here and uh, from here i will consider that i will consider that our ss is 0 0.25 and s1 is 0 0.1 okay 0 0.1 or we can consider that our s1 is 0 0.2 and ss is 0 0.5 okay so i'm just going here 0 0.2 and here 0 0.5 clear now in the long period transition period from where you will get also you'll get that value from this map if you just come here we have to find out that here map long period transition period so uh, from your reason you have to find out that value 8 4 8 6 16 where your structure are going to be constructed you have to be uh, provide that value as a site class you can see here uh, the boundary are given suppose for a uh, whole that boundary this value is 4 so i am going to take that value as a suppose uh, let our value will be 4 okay now site class this is the most important as per your soil character you have to find out your site class so uh, as i have no soil test report at this time so uh, as per uh, i'll create another video on it so here i'm considering our uh, site class is suppose b or site class will be b or site class will be c and this value one point suppose uh, c for value of s on and ss this value will be automatically calculated actually and if you need to provide here any types of different value then simply click here f and provide your value manually but uh, if you have uh, the value of a b c d then you will see this value are coming here automatically for d is this value are coming here automatically so i'm going to consider this uh, for c or i'm going for uh, i'm going to consider this for b and how this value is coming here just see if we go here we go here see for fa and for fb
1.3 and 1.5 oh sorry we have considered b so this will be 0 0.9 and this will be 0 0.8 okay for that value that value and on set class see 0 0.9 and 0 0.8 okay and after that when this value is okay and i'll just go here uh, base to terrace now here factors so for factors we have to uh, follow i'll just come to our slide slide here for that for response modification fact coefficient over strength factor and deflection amplification factor we have to go base 19 and section 12.1 i'll just go here paste 19 19 and i'll write okay and here first of all we have to find out which types of structure we're going to construct so building frame system for building frame system we are uh, going to design a building with shadow so here building frame system and a special uh, resisting a special reinforced concrete shadow and then uh, also if we go to next moment testing frame system so we will go for moment testing frame system okay and from moment testing frame system also we have another option dual system with a special moment testing frame capable of resisting at least 25 percent of described seismic force so if you think that your structure are able to resist individually 25 percent of earthquake force then we are able to use that dual system so as uh, i'm uh, on that big structure on that big structure as uh, i have provided only two share i hope these two share is enough to resist more than 25 percent value but but we think uh will be uh we will not be able to calculate that at this time we have to analyze that we have to uh, uh research on it then we'll be able to find out that value so i'll do what i'll do here i'll just go here and i'll simply consider moment testing frame system and which types of frame obviously it's concrete so a special moment testing frame a special reinforced concrete moment testing frame so for a special moment testing frame system okay we will consider the value of the first value is for r response modification factor then omega over strength and deflection amplification factor cd so first of all what is our value 8 3 and 5.5 i'll just go to our software this value is 8 wow already it's selected 8 3 and 5.5 and occupancy importance factor so what is the occupancy importance factor i'll just go to a slide and uh here maybe the importance factor for uh rigs category from table uh 1.5.1 first of all we have to know about rigs category and there have many options for sumo importance factor seismic importance factor ice and ice factor so we are going for seismic importance factor and uh here the rigs category so what is the bricks category from building i will just go to here yeah this is risk category and i'll request you to read that okay so i am going to as are the building and other structure that represent low risks to the human life i mean if we construct it construct any types of building which are less risks risky for human life and the all building and other structure respect those uh one two three the building um, buildings and other structure the failure who is good pros substantial risk to human life so we can consider that on course as we are going to design a 50 story building and uh with uh you have uh, seen from our floor plan it's uh number of unit five and if we consider our total 
six people in on unit then it will be 30 people in on floor and with 15 150 people will be available on the test structure okay so uh, this is a huge amount of people so i think i can consider this one or otherwise you can go for that there one also and a request and this uh, category building design category four um, for uh, a very uh, hazardous type of structure or for um, actually which will uh, create national issue or international issue okay so i'll request you to read everything very carefully and on which category your building are going to be select that so i'm going to select two or one so i'll just come here on our slide and very important factor and for category one and two we can see our uh, seismic importance factor that is one and also if you need you can go for here also you can go for here so i'll consider one consider one so every value are given here now here you have to select time period program calculated so uh, um, if you can go for appro approximate and i'll go for program calculated and uh use a different also you are able to calculate uh the value of t from a manual equation but i think this option is enough because uh, if we select that option our software will automatically calculate that value now if i go here um, in our slide and here so approximate uh, time period and natural periods uh, we have to uh, see in which types of structure we're going to use with respect to that we have to select ct and x so concrete moment testing frame we are going to select so our value will be this one so uh, it's uh, 0 0.016 and 0 0.9 i'll just go here and i'll select the second option that's it so we have done everything perfectly i'll just take a screenshot because uh, I have to provide that value for Y direction also. So when everything is okay, I'll click okay and we'll go for Y direction 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 4 is B b 835.51 it's done from 3 to the top and the value should be here and uncheck this value and everything is okay so simply click ok and click ok so we have perfectly defined our earthquake load on this uh, structure with proper reference with proper reference and uh, I'll, I'll share that slide you will get that slide here and go to the uh, free section uh, and etaps course materials uh, version 22 uh, 22 and you'll get everything there so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next lecture